budget. Mabuhay, Pinam family. First things first, Happy New Year, my loves. Happy 2024. How are you guys? How was your holiday? And how was your holiday vacation? If you had any, guys, talk to me. Let me know how you've been. I've missed you guys. Or just tell me how, you know, what was your highlight of your holiday? I enjoyed my Christmas time with the family. My children were on a three weeks uh, winter break and, you know, spending time with them during school break is always my goal. Also, I'm still working on my new website and I hope to launch earlier than my expected time frame, which is late January to early February. Like so many of you guys are asking how soon it will be when you can uh, buy my products so you can finally start saving. Now, that kind of support is the reason why I don't want to keep you guys waiting long, but building a brand new website from ground up is harder than I thought, or at least what my husband says, because he's helping me build the back end. Someone suggested to just open up and sell what I can, but I'd rather have everything up on the new site ready. I want to build a site I'm proud to share, but I will finish as soon as I can. So please be patient. And guys, don't forget to sign up on the website so you'll be invited on, um, you'll be invited for an early access to the website like a week early before we go live. So link in, is going to be in the description below or somewhere in the corner, okay? So, I'm so ready to take on 2024, new year, new goals, right? I think being consistent with cash stuffing plays a very big role in our lives. It really keeps us accountable. It makes us better in living below our means, but you know, still trying to enjoy life. Like getting ready for our future, looking at the bigger picture and not just live at the moment anymore. We got to be prepared for the future and the unexpected, right? So things are constantly changing, new laws, requirements, and even interest rates that keep us on our toes. But having our budget in order can alleviate some of the stress that a new year brings. So enough with the talking. You guys are ready? Let's go. Um, let's go ahead and start counting the money first. All right, so let's go ahead and use my new calculator. Okay. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, twenty, forty. So one hundred forty. Uh, one forty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollars. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so we are going to be cash stuffing $850. So this is for our first week of January cash stuffing. For those who are new to my channel, I make and release cash stuffing videos to budget our way to financial freedom to purchase our first new home in the future. So one goal at a time. So please consider subscribing and joining the family. Let's go ahead and start with my wallet first so i did put them in my little tray so that i don't forget okay okay so for my personal personal is going to get um 20 dollars so let's do two tens
Okay, and for giving, uh, for this week, we're going to do, okay, we're going to do two fives, so that's $10. Oops. Okay, so this is my cash stuffing wallet budget for the week. Okay, you guys, we are now ready to do my variable expenses binder. Okay, we are going to start with envelope husband and wife. Okay, so for this one is going to get $25. For the kids' necessities, is going to get twenty-five. Okay, we have no big plans coming up this year. We just have family birthdays throughout the year, and you know we just eat out. But usually, my mom takes care of that. When it comes to big plans, we don't do last-minute plans anymore. We have to plan things out much out months in advance so we can save up for it but this year no big vacations just small family activities you know spending time together that doesn't cost much so i have plenty of time to build our sinking funds and just let it grow so with that said we can focus on our savings challenges this year for family fun is going to get $25. I'm so excited to watch everybody's journey in the budgeting community this year. I see there's more new people are joining this community and I have more videos to watch. Friends and family is going to get $25. And Christmas, did I put that in the wrong spot? Okay. This one is supposed to be in between. Okay. And then Christmas, we're not doing until July. Okay, we are not done with this. Okay, let's do our savings challenges now. So, we're going to start with our 150 envelopes savings challenge. So I mentioned in my 2024 setup video that I will be starting off my 150 envelope savings challenge this year to start up our emergency fund. And I'm going to tackle this aggressively starting off with the higher number first. I decided to do this in the beginning of the year instead of like mid half or last quarter of the year so that I don't feel pressure to finish this at the end of this year the way i want to do this challenge just like how i did my 100 envelopes challenge is i'm going to round up the numbers on the mini envelopes so that i don't stretch out the envelopes and everything will just stay in this box hopefully so knocking out the higher numbers first is a slower process in the beginning but my mind thinking is that i'm getting the harder numbers out of the way first so that it's a smoother process at the end when I only have the smaller numbers to deal with. Some people start with lowest numbers first towards the high numbers. People like myself start backwards, high numbers to lowest. And others, you know, they mix it up. It's all about planning and depending on everybody's incomes, you work with what you got. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But um, if you've been successful with the 100 envelopes challenge before, like for myself, I've done it twice in 2022 and 2023. Both turned out successful. So I thought it's about to bump it up just a notch. So let's get started with our numbers. Okay, 
the higher numbers is at the back so i think all right i think i budgeted for two numbers okay you guys so um, we're gonna work on two envelopes so 149 and 150 so if you add this up it's like what 299 dollars so we're going to round this up and put 300 dollars one two three okay okay and 145 and 146 so we're going to round this up to three hundred dollars Okay. Okay, just like that, we're done with this savings challenge this week. We're going to put this back. Okay, you guys, I'm ready for the next savings challenges. I decided to start on these savings challenges on time this year so that I don't fall behind and play catch up. My mind is programmed that calendar savings challenges are created the way they are for its purpose. So starting late will just delay your result. Okay, we're gonna start off with my daily savings challenge. Okay, we're going to do January. Okay, so per day you save $1. Okay, and today is January 8th. So that will be $8 for this week. And we're going to go ahead and color this in. I cannot decide what marker I want to use, but I think I like yellow. So let's go ahead and color. Okay, you guys, I filled in one, two, eight. And we're going to save, we're going to save $8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm gonna let this air dry a little bit so it doesn't transfer onto the envelope. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and put our money here. And okay, so we're gonna do this one later. Okay, the next savings challenge is, hmm. Let's do our words, uh, word search January. Let me go ahead and pull up this card. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. So how do you guys do your word search? Like, do you guys do it in order or do you guys just um, do whatever you guys can find? So I think we're gonna go ahead and try to see if I can do it in order. So let's go ahead and do, the first word is celebrate. Okay, you guys, so celebrate is right here. Okay, that's $8. Um, the next word is beginning. Beginnings. Okay, so beginning is right here. And the next word will be new year oh beginnings is five dollar and new year is ten dollars so we just have to look for it okay it's right here <laughs> okay nice so okay so i think we'll stop there for the first week so we have eight plus Five plus 10. 
Okay, so that's $23. So I think I'm going to do a 10, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3. So that's $23. And we can go ahead and put that into our, oops. Okay, so January to June envelope. Okay, so, and then this one, I think this one can go here because I'm going to be pulling this in and out of the envelope for this every month. And so this one is done. And the next savings challenge, I do have an addition to my savings challenge um, this year, which is my... Okay, so this one is my save $2,000, 2024 in 2024. So this tracker is filled with numbers that totals up to $2,024. And the numbers here are between 1 to 40. So 40 will be the, high, the higher number and 1 is the lowest number. So today... I mean, for this week, um, let me get my marker. Um, I think I budgeted for $37. So let's go ahead and look for $37. let us see. I'm like scanning. Okay, I found $37. Oh, there's another $37 there. But for this week... We'll only do 37. Okay, I might change the color. I don't know, but I think that's okay for now. We will do 20, 30, 5, 6, 7. 20, 35, 6, 7. Okay. We will go ahead and put this away. Okay, so this binder is done. Okay, and the last savings challenge, we're going to do my monthly savings of $1,500. Let's go ahead and pull January. Okay, so for uh, this week, we're going to do $50. So let's see. We have 20, 40, 50. Okay. So we have $50. Okay. Okay, you guys. So let's go ahead and mark off. 50. I don't know how I want to do this. Do I want to shade it and <laughs> cross it out? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Okay, so this one is done. Let's go ahead and put this back in its envelope. Alright, so I wonder why I have extra money here. $2. Let me double check why. Okay, you guys. So I know why I have $2 extra is because in our daily savings challenge, <laughs> today is actually January 10. But I colored in up to um, January 8. So I have to color in two more. Okay, so we're going to color in 9 and 10. I get confused with the dates, but yeah. Okay, so we are going to add this $2. Okay, you guys. So we did this already. And I think um, that's it for... 
this video. That's it for the savings challenges. When I'm done with the 150 envelope savings challenge, I'll start the other savings challenges lined up for the year. And oh, before I go, I just want to share something with you guys, okay? My husband is hesitant to share his savings challenge. He said I might jinx it if I share, but he finally said fine. He doesn't do savings challenges, so but he was inspired with the savings jar challenge that we did last year. That large jar has been very popular and we sold a lot of that back in September. And he said to save him one jar before I sell out. He said he wants a tampered proof challenge that he can get into until he's finished with it. Before I closed my Etsy shop, I think I only have like 12 left to sell once I open my new website. So I saved him one jar and he requested for the $20 tracker on it. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Okay, so he said he's um, going to take his time this year to complete this because this tracker only go goes up to $7,980. So this particular savings is not included in our savings plan this year. So he said he's saving a whole year to invest for 2025. So I thought, you know, I'd share it with you guys and guys look, he already put, he's already put like his first $20 bill. Like I might post this uh, progress on Instagram, but guys, get, you know, leave him like a star emojis to get him motivated. Like I will ask to give you guys a six month update. So we will revisit this progress like every six months. Okay. So thank you guys, my Pinang family, for being with me here today. And thank you for watching. I'm excited for the next cash stuffing. Bye, guys, and enjoy your rest of the week. Thank you from Pinang Family Budget.